Hey guys, Lynn here. Welcome to another Fallout glitch tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get essentially infinite resources for your settlement. Now, you're going to want to do a couple of things before you get started, and I'll go over them in a minute. But first, I want to say I did not find this glitch, I'm simply resharing it. Now, the person I found it from was called Cody300, a YouTuber. You can check out his channel now. So, I'm not sure whether he found it originally, but I will credit him anyway until someone tells me otherwise. What you're going to want to do is get shipments of materials okay so if we take a look at my inventory here I have loads of different shipments and the shipments can be bought from different vendors if you look at the description below I have left you a list of all the different shipments and all the different vendors that sell them in the description okay just for you to easily find them I'll take a look and then you have to go to the vendor and buy them now what you're going to do for this glitch is you're going to duplicate the materials for those shipments okay you're not going to duplicate the shipments themselves just the materials so you want to go and get as many shipments as you can okay and if you want to save money you can obviously do the vendor glitch like i'm doing right here and you could check out my other video to find out how to do that okay you can see he sells shipments of wood and cork so every single time i do this glitch i'm going to be duplicating the 100 wood from this so if i want to get a thousand wood then I want to buy 10 shipments. Okay, so hopefully that's easy to follow. So you want to go around and you want to get as many shipments as possible. Okay, so that's step one. So if we take a look at my inventory here, you can see I have all these different shipments and I have two of wood. Preferably, I would like to get about 10 of each, but it really doesn't make too much difference. Two will do, especially for wood and steel but you'll go much faster the more shipments you have. Okay, so let's return back to my settlement. All right, we're back in my settlement. Now the reason, first of all, why I'm making this video is because the other video that I saw, it didn't have any commentary and I think it were quite a lot of people in the comments who were getting confused exactly how you do this glitch. So I'm just gonna go into a bit more detail so you guys can perfectly understand. What you're going to want to do, first of all, is if you go to your workshop, okay you want to make sure that you have nothing in your junk category okay so just take everything out of there now that's not for a specific reason for the glitch it's just to make it easier okay and you will see so i'm going to take that out and then what you're going to do is transfer every single thing from your junk and your inventory into a container like the one i've got here except obviously not your shipments so i'm going to put all the stuff that's not shipments into there so the only thing that I have on me in the junk, fo junk folder is shipments and there's nothing in the workshop. Nice so if we open up the workshop again, all you're gonna do is it says at the bottom, store all junk. Okay, and if we move along to the, oh, it's not there yet, but it will be. All you want to do is store all your junk. Okay, so you only have shipments, but as soon as you hit the store button, you're going to want to take all of the shipments back out into your inventory so you can see there y is to store all x is to take back out and you want to do it as quick as possible before the shipments have time to go into your workshop so we're going to do that now okay and as you can see in the workshop i only have aid and that's all okay i don't have anything else bottle caps and aid so you're, there's no materials at all in my workshop so you can see that the glitch will work okay so if I quickly press Y and then quickly press X. Okay. And then if I go back into my workshop, you can see that all of the shipments have been cashed in. Okay. So all of these were all of the shipments I had. They've now been cashed into my workshop. Okay. But if you go back to your inventory and go back along to junk, you will see all of your shipments are still there. So you've essentially duplicated all of the materials, but still managed to keep your shipments, which means you can now repeat the same step and just keep growing your materials. Okay, so we can repeat that again. So all I'm gonna do is just press store all junk. Okay, as soon as I do, press X. It'll come up, are you sure you want to take everything? I always just press A quickly. So here we go. And that's it. If we check the workshop, we've got all of the things again. It doesn't always work for every shipment for some reason. 
I'm not sure why, but some of the shipments don't work all the time. And also I've noticed that sometimes the shipments will work, but one of the shipments will cash in and you'll lose it, so you'll have to go back to a store and buy again. But if we take a look at my junk folder, I have now got 200 of that, 100, 100, 50, 100. If we go down to something bigger, like at the bottom, I've now got 200 wood, 100 steel, plus whatever's in here, so I can just take all this just now and just double check what it says in my inventory. Okay, I've now just made 400 wood, 200 steel. If I had 10 shipments of wood, then I'd be making 1,000 wood each time rather than 200. So you can see this one, one of the shipments cashed in, it didn't work and for some reason I lost it. So I'll have to go back and get another shipment of these. Okay, but it does work for most of the time. And after about five minutes of doing it, if we look in this metal box, I do have some of the ones I did earlier. If we go right down to the bottom, you can see I made nearly 10,000 wood in about five minutes. 3,800 steel. So it's a really, really quick way of getting any type of material so long as you have the shipment which are easily bought from any store and you don't even have to pay for them if you do the vendor glitch. Alright guys I hope this has been a quick and easy explanation on how to do this glitch and if it was don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you next time for more Fallout 4 videos. Bye!